solve one of your biggest thumbnail problems by showing you how to use Canva and their text effects. Each one is very different and may or may not look good on a thumbnail. There are even additional features within Canva that can make your thumbnails stand out even further. Now, I'm not gonna put each one of these text effects on a thumbnail. I'm just gonna show you the basics of the text effect themselves. And what I want you to do is try each one on one of your recent thumbnails. And then I want you to tell me which of these text effects that Canva offers look the best on your most recent thumbnail. Let's go to the screen and I'll show you what I mean. Just in case you do not know how to create text on an image or on a video, all you need to do is click T on your keyboard. This is an amazing time-saving shortcut. If for some reason that's not working, then on the left-hand side, there is a text area. You can simply add a text box right there. If you're a Canva Pro member, you can add a heading, a subheading, or a little body of text. The reason why add a text box came up with League Spartan for me is because I used League Spartan in this design already. You can even look at some of the pre-designed text things, which do include some text effects. How can you get text effects? It is super simple. So simple, in fact, that when I show you how to do it, you're going to wonder how you didn't figure it out yourself. That's okay. Every expert was once a beginner, so let's start at the beginning. You click whatever text you want to create an effect on. And then up here in this top panel, where it's got your font, size, you've got, you can change the color. Some of them, you can add a bold or italicize or even underline. You can, if you've written it in lowercase and you want it to be all uppercase, you can change that. You can change the alignment of the text. You can make it, turn it into a list if you want. You can even change the letter spacing if you would like, or line spacing. And these are also very important because some of the text effects won't look right if your line spacing or letter spacing isn't correct. But we're gonna click this button right here, Effects. When you click Effects, on the left-hand side, these text effects come up. Now, at the time of recording this, there are nine official text effects plus one that you could curve any one of those text effects that you like. On each effect are going to be different things that you can customize. Sometimes these effects are just a little over the top, especially on the thumbnail. So you just want to be very, very cautious when you use them and make sure that it's not too over powering for your thumbnail. Let's look at lift. Lift, there is only one button for lift and that's the intensity button. You can't change the color of lift. That lift effect is going to be a dark color and you really do not want it to be this intense. That is not gonna look good on a thumbnail or a design. If I'm going to use a lift effect, I actually would prefer to use it under shadow, increase the blur. That way you can actually change the color of that text effect. I actually really like the hollow text effect, but I may not be such a fan of the hollow text effect on its own. Stay tuned and I will show you how to stack these text effects. But you can change the thickness of the text effect. And one thing that's really interesting is that your text effect is going to look different depending on what font you use. Your script fonts are not going to look fantastic with a hollow text effect. So keep in mind when you're using some of these, they are not going to look great if you use certain types of fonts. Next up, we're going to take a look at the splice text effect. And I do like the splice text effect. However, 
I'm not a huge fan of it as it is by default. I actually don't like it to be offset at all. I like for it to be stacked right on top. So it gives it an outline effect. My favorite newest text effect. And that's called outline. And when you click it, it's automatically going to come up with a color that it thinks would go with your text. But I'm going to change it so that you can see it. Let's take a look at this coral red here. Now you can change the thickness of the outline. A little later on, I'm going to show you a cool technique that you can do if you want less of an outline, but you still want to fill in those holes. So keep watching. That's one of the hidden gems I mentioned earlier. Next up, Echo. Echo is like shadow, but instead of there being one thing back there, there are two. And to me, this really isn't one of the better text effects, especially for YouTube thumbnails, because it's really hard to read. Now, this next one might possibly be the one that I do not like the most, and that's called Glitch. And I don't like it because it's really, really hard on the eyes. There are two options. You can change the offset of it. You can change the direction of it, but you can also change the color to go from the pink to the red. We're going to go on to the next one. Neon. Neon is one that I think works well if it's stacked underneath another one. You also have to be really careful with the colors. Let's move on to this one. And we've got background. Now, I absolutely love backgrounds because it's a very, very easy way to add a background shape. There is one slight problem that I have with this particular design instead of just using a shape behind your text. And that's because sometimes you will see that it is not centered there. And that might change if I change the font. So some fonts work really well in it and then others do not. Depending on what font you're using will depend on whether or not you want to use that particular effect. But don't worry, if you like this particular effect and want to create one so that it's centered, you can absolutely do that by clicking R on your keyboard and making sure that it's centered to your text. This is a hidden gem text effect that you can use where you create a shape behind it, but you can click the border style and change the corner rounding of it if you would like. You can even give it a border as well. And that is a pretty cool text effect that I think would look nice on a thumbnail or just a social media post. What I wanted to show you next was the curve. That is really curvy. Curve is one that you need to play around with. You need to play around with the letter spacing with the curve. You need to let the letters breathe a little bit when you're doing a curved effect. But the fun thing about curve is that you can actually add curve to on top of any of the other text effects. And you can even make it curve the other way as well. Now, I mentioned a couple hidden gems. And I mentioned stacking. I love to stack. I love to stack text effects. On each text box, this is going to pop up. And we're going to click Duplicate because I want to do a text effect using two different effects. We're going to start off with an outline. And I'm going to change the color of the outline. And I'm going to make it a whitish color. And then I'm going to See, now I mentioned earlier that there are things that you could do if you want your outline to be filled in, and we're going to do that in a second, but I want to get my overall thickness correct. Now I'm going to take this one, and this is where I mentioned the hollow effect. While it doesn't necessarily always look good on its own, I'm actually going to use that and create a hollow effect on top. 
and I want to change the color and I'm just going to change the color to red and then I'm going to put it right on top. What if I do yellow instead or purple or I really love one of the blue colors. You can even change the thickness to be a little skinnier. Let's fill in these spots. We're going to click the draw button. We're going to go and click that same white color that we used on the outline. And then we're going to fill in these holes. And I actually forgot to change my border weight. So I'm going to click back. Click settings and we're going to change the weight from six. I think I'm going to go ahead and change it to 40. And then I'm going to mark it. That's going to make it faster. So we're going to cover all of these holes. You can do all of these in one fell swoop if you like, or you can do them individually. We're going to click the position. Probably going to come up on a range tab. Click over to layers. And we're going to move all of these layers down below the two words. You can do them individually by just left clicking and dragging them under, or you can actually click shift on your keyboard and select all of them and move them all at the same time. Now, when you're done, click out of it and take a peek and see if there are any changes that you want to make. But I just wanted you to get the idea of how to use a draw app to fill in things. Now, if you're using draw, it's probably going to automatically think you want draw every time. I'm going to click back, which undo, and then I'm going to click the selector. That way it stops giving me little dots. We've got this effect. I'm actually going to change this to the white color. The draw app took over again, and I'm going to see if I can fix that by clicking hide. And now I'm just going to undo this and see if I can. All you need to do is hide the draw app and the draw app shouldn't automatically take over anymore. What I'm going to do is download this. Now I can download this one of two ways. The first way I can download it is by clicking share, download, PNG, transparent background, that's the Canva Pro feature, and I can choose the page that it's on and download. The other way I could do it is by just creating another something on the page. Doesn't matter where, just making it really tiny. And I'm going to select both of these items and right click and download selection. That's automatically going to pull up the download button for those two items. You need to have at least two items selected in order to do this feature. And again, transparent background. I'm actually going to increase the size a little bit too to see if I can get a better quality image. And I'm going to click download. So those are two different options. Now I'm going to upload these options back into Canva. And basically I just clicked the upload button, upload file and uploaded them both. Here is the first one. And you know that it's got a, back, a transparent background because when I change the color of the background, it changes with it. And this one, you'll see, is a little bit bigger. And all I need to do is crop that so that little image isn't there. Now, the text effect. Click this, Edit Photo, Shadow. So I just noticed that my voice is starting to go. I'm going to wrap this up. And then you can add an outline effect to it to give that outline effect. You can change the size. Now, this is very similar to the outline on the text. 
but sometimes I find that doing it this way just gives it a slightly different look and so I will do it this way instead. The advantages of this is that I can really adjust some things like blur or distance even or the intensity of everything, right? That's the benefit of that way. But the benefit of using the regular text effect like this is that I can go and change this to other words. I can't do that with this one. I can't change the words because it's a picture. So sometimes what I like to do is figure out what words I want to use on my thumbnail. And I will do it this way. And then I might later on change it to the image style so that I can have a little bit more control. You can go to elements and go to frames. And you can find letter frames that are different like this. And this is a really cool text effect where you can actually add gradients or things like that. This might be a little hard for uh, YouTube thumbnails, but you can add pictures in them. That's a little weird for uh, a thumbnail too, but it might work really well for a social media post. So just, just, just take some of those effects into mind when you're creating your text on your designs. The good news about most of these text effects is that they're absolutely free. However, if you do want to play around with the text effect where you download your text and then upload it and you're able to edit the image that way, then you're going to want to use Canva Pro. And lucky for you, I've got a link in the description that will give you a free trial of Canva Pro 30 days for free. Are you ready for the next step? Watch this video next to discover a lightning fast method to, to design your next 30 days worth of YouTube community posts. And I'll see you next time. Bye.